to my face. It, it happened in Lavetlock too, but what is up, Scar Knight, bringing you Pokemon? I almost said Crystal Vetlock because it's in my brain. Holy shit. Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke Part 61 in the last part, Madame, you can listen to is fine. In the last part, we took care of the gym leader, Bugsy. Yes, I know. Uh, I, I need to know your name before it gets too awkward. Okay, she's gonna walk away from me. But we took care of the gym leader Bugsy from Johto, and in this episode, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna like, kind of figure out what to do, cause like, at this point in the game, there's not too many uh, options left, because like, it will hear me out, right? Cause if you consider the fact that there's like, three gym leaders left, we do have the options of like what could be considered lower level than the other one and uh i decided on one of the people and the thing is that um you know i i kind of already visit igloo city and that's what we're gonna do in the next episode but for this episode i really would like to explore a little bit and of course there's something legendary related maybe we should just fly instead instead of like run all the way back so let's go do that actually let's go introduce the pokemon too shoot i almost completely forgot to do that but we got ultimate the Varanius, the ultimate life form with the king's rock boil surf cut and lava pool with uh the fence is the highest attacks the second highest met the night level uh route 30 oh my god i can't read route 73 at level 50 someone was seven with the now just fury we got your majesty the sylvia on the fairy type queen with the leftovers with hyper voice moon blast calm mind baton pass with special defense is the highest special attacks the second highest met the night spirit city level 15 sturdy buddy with the cute charm ability we also got Supra, the Fombako, the ghost fighting type, with the lucky egg, with, with the moves, or sphere, rocks, max strength, and shadow ball. Uh, special both attack and defense are tied with speed following after. Man, the Night Route 82, low 50, somewhat vain with the not just fury. We also got Baby Blue, the shiny and mega, um, the bug flying type with the confused guard, air slash, bug buzz, inch power, and fly. With special text to highest speeds to second highest. Met during the day, Providence Park level 54, sturdy buddy with tinted lens ability. We also got Marble, the shiny bright period with the ground rock type, soft sand with rock slide reversal, earthquake, and outrage. Attacks the highest, defense the second highest. I met during the day, Knock on Mines level 50, quick temper with the solid rock ability. And we got Dino, the Dino Mutt, the Little Beal, Steel Poison type, with the King's Rock, with Base Tremor, Flash Cannon, Wild Charge, and Poison Jab. Uh, defense is the highest, attack is the second highest. Meant the Knight, Aquamine, Slow 50, Quick Temper, with the Nozzle's Fury, yo. And yeah, that is all the uh, Pokemon for today. But let's go over and fly, might as well, to Goldenrod City. Because there was a part to the left, and I have no idea what's over there. There might not be anything at all, but might as well. Uh, and I might as also well, um, like, just buy the next Pokemon available. I don't know who is available, to be honest. And... Because I know that the other one has Kangaskhan, but this one... I think I bought a Bagon. Eevee, Bagon, and Porygon. I could afford a Porygon, let's try to go for that. I do feel weird about paying for another Eevee. Uh, eventually I'm gonna have to get to a point where I need to uh, just continuously... Uh, I don't know how to explain this, I, I didn't mean to buy that shoot. It's rather odd because like there's a point where the legendary contact or the contact the uh, content of the legendary Pokemon portion like I just have to figure out how I'm gonna pull it off 
and I'm almost there where I'm all like, oh jeez, I need to do something. It's gonna take so much time to invest in, and I really should have did it over time, to be honest. Wait, I think I bought a little bit too much. Uh oh. Okay, I might be able to afford both now, actually. Yeah. Let's get the Porygon for now. Oh my god, why <laughs> did it do that last time? Okay, well there's not going to be a change in the party layout. Why do they have to do that to me? And I, I do kind of feel weird in the beginning. This is just a weird episode in general. Um, but we'll see. Um, let's go with the party. It don't matter who it is. I'll put you like, maybe like up here or something. I don't know. Um, and let's get ourselves good old Porygon, and this thing takes two trade stones to evolve with the dubious disc, and then the other one's like with the, um, uh, what else? Porygon, the virtual Pokemon, 0 0.8 meters, 36.5 kilograms, an artificial Pokemon created due to extensive research it can perform only what it is is in its program okay well that could mean anything that could mean editing videos for me all the way to like converting music like what do you mean what it's programmed for but whatever uh, I'm gonna call it virtual but spelled differently this is what I always wanted to uh, call my Porygon if I ever had one and now is today's the day virtual and I'll worry about getting like the EV if I ended up getting it um, like I said um, I, I might end up doing that but I don't know if it would be considered a legal mon I'm not entirely sure let's uh let's look at virtual right quick level 20 Agility, Paint Split, Swift, and Conversion too. And uh, yeah, let's go do that. Highly Persistent with the Ability Download. Ooh, that's pretty darn, pretty darn good. Pretty darn tuned. Let me just put you down here so it's kind of normal. Oh, you're also level 20. I see. Let's go with the Ultimate. And I'm gonna probably fix the party up. I don't even know who even has... Do you have the experience share? You have leftovers. Who has the experience share? Or the lucky egg. Sorry, that's what I meant. The lucky egg. Let's go switch to you in case I run into Pokemon. Alright. So yeah, let's go explore the left side of that goldenrod cape thing. I probably won't go that far considering I don't think anything is available I'm pretty sure I got a Pokemon here then then I get like there's grass here bruh oh my god look at all that you know there's part of me that wanted to completely skip this over and I'm glad that I kinda didn't please don't tell me this is just it though blizzard hmm if I have, like, hail up, that's gonna be 100% accurate. Yeah, I had a feeling it's gonna cut off at some point. Alright, well, executes here. Alright. Uh, I should I, I didn't know there was grass here, or else I would've went for that instead. But, if it's just executes, then I don't know. Yeah, it just cuts off here. Alright, no problem then. What's this? Five mining picks. Yeah, that's something else I have to do. That's what I was talking about, about my freaking mining stuff. There's Surskids here, bruh. So if you didn't fish, you could just get them here. Oh my god. There is one Pokemon I didn't get yet, and I will work on that very, very soon. But I imagine this is going to be a very short video, because, like, <laughs> this is evidence, say, like, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, there ain't nothing else. I thought there would be, like, trainers or something. Okay. 
That's fine. Let's do the legendary portion for one reason and one reason only because we did actually look at the sign a few episodes ago and uh, it turns out that like the QR code is actually here because just like the sapphire egg and the ruby egg we did see something about an emerald egg and I'm trying to freaking find the sign and I, and I don't remember also for the vet lock, I realized that the name raider was originally like here or something like north of the thing where the hell is this damn where's the damn whatchamacallit the freaking sign I thought the sign would be here somewhere uh, I thought for sure it was like on the right side yet I'm on the left side saying this is it this thing sir Yes, uh, could you... Could you get out of my way? Oh, well, this is... I don't know why people... <laughs> Thank you, shoot. Alright, the QR code. Scanning with the QR scanner. Emerald egg, rock, and small lake. Okay, so now with that, let's go over to the train station and go back to the region region. All right, we have to be here anyway, just to, you know, do a little bit of things. We're not gonna do the entirety of whatever the Emerald Egg has for us, but, you know, we'll see for ourselves. Welcome to Bowden City, Rejon. Thank you. All right, so now, it did say, uh, to be honest, I, I did kind of zone out as it said that. I really have to go over here. Because even though I zoned out, I did kind of do some research on where this may lie. And it's actually over here. And I need to remember to make footage of this. Because, you know, I'm going to end up showing it later. But it is actually on this rock. Fans found the emerald egg. And yeah, we could have gotten since like as soon as we got to rejon uh, for the gym challenges. But let's go look at the key items. As you can see, a very shiny and mysterious egg. So yeah, very interesting indeed. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back out only for the reason that I want to get one Pokemon encounter because when I was grinding my Pokemon up to like a certain decent level. There was a, uh, a route that I didn't do anything about, and that's Route 56. So we could get a Pokemon here, and maybe I might even go to the adoption home and turn them in. Maybe, perhaps. So there is that. So let's go do that right quick. Let's go uh, over to Route 56, and uh, might as well use an old rod? Nah, let's go use the super rod. Might as well, right? Let's go all out with it. What is the Pokemon? Like I said, while I was grinding here, I did use like a Max Repel. And, uh, you know, kept using it over and over. But I definitely did battle trainers. Um, okay, let's use some type of Pokeball. Dive Ball it is! Stay caught, Gyarados. I just want you for good old points. Oh, crap. Okay. Don't do this to me, Gyarados. You know you want the truth. And the truth is you want to be my friend. One. Two. Three. I guess you don't want to be my friend. Okay, let's throw another friend ball. God damn it, stay in the ball. Oh my god, I, I really hope it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna keep throwing it. I know that Gyarados, just by looks, maybe 
doesn't look like the friendliest mod, but to that I say, maybe people shouldn't be that judgmental on Gyarados. Just give him a chance. Maybe if you were nice to him when he was a Magikarp, he wouldn't be like this. You ever consider that, you prick? Exactly. Friend Ball Hoy, that's proof enough that Gyarados is a straight up homie. And, and you should all rejoice in there. Did I never get Gyarados? Oh, what the? 6.5 meters, 235.0 kilograms. It appears whenever there is world conflict, burning down any place it travels through. Yeah, that, that's his code for, for friend. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him friend for the hell of it. And not only does he want to be my friend, but he wants to be a friend with somebody in the adoption home. You know what I mean? So, it only makes sense. Am I able to... Oh! Yo, wait a second. High IQ. I could get a Pokemon at Igloo City. Yo. Let's do it. <laughs> this is kind of cheating, but it does count. And we got ourselves another Feebas. And I'm almost certain I did call somebody Sackboy. Like, I, I, I try to find the footage, but like, I caught so many Feebasses. I really don't know which route I called uh, Sackboy in, to be honest. So, it doesn't really help with me just saying, oh, I called one Feebas Sackboy. Like, I, I literally caught almost like half a dozen Feebasses. Almost around a dozen, like, I don't know, it's between six and ten for sure, something like that. Uh... Um... I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Sock Boy. Please don't tell me I named someone else Sock Boy. Pretty sure I didn't. Oh no, you're a girl. Never mind. Let's put. Let's put. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, sock girl. It really doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna get you in the adoption home. Sock girl. Okay, now with that, let's go fly over back to. Um, I, I really would like to go to the adoption home now, and then we're gonna finish off with some something very special at the end of the whole trainer thingy. So we're gonna do that. Um, let's go back to Naljo. To Naljo Ahoy. Alright, welcome to Terrena City, Naljo. Thank you. Let's go over to Spur City. So there's uh, not going to be a change to the layout, so don't worry about that. Hopefully this is it. It is. All right, cool. So I'll try to switch out some mons that I could uh, turn in. So I have to think this through. And I really don't know how many Pokemon I have left, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'll, I'll leave Majesty alone because, like, you know, I'll put you a box four for now. Because I got Majesty from this place, actually, I'm pretty sure. So let's go turn in... I, I, I just rue the day, and I don't know why I'm using the word rue, but I, I really hope that I don't accidentally, like, turn a different mon in that's part of my party. That would suck horrendously. So... Let's do that. Um, okay. So from here, I think these are the Pokemon that I decided on possibly using in the future as I'm burping. Um, yes, including God himself. Uh, Sock Girl, however, I'm gonna put you here. Uh, friend, you're gonna be a friend to someone else, and me. I mean, you can have multiple friends, it's not like you can't. I'm gonna turn in Ghostface. Imagine if I turn <laughs> Uh, Sack Boy, yeah. Sack boy and, and a Wawa girl, I guess. Oh shoot, I went too far. Uh, 
Wait, did I get six? One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. I still have Sandy for some reason. This is the shiny one, right? Hell no, I'm keeping that. Sandy, you're coming. You're going over here. Alright. Welcome to the... Welcome to the Pokemon Orphanage. Which Pokemon would you like to donate? Okay, so let's start with Sandy. Actually, it's, mm, yeah, Sandy. Are you sure you want to donate, Sandy? Thank you for your donation. I put 16 points on your card. You also heal your party. It's a complimentary service. So how much points do I even have now? Let me go check my, my thing right quick. Orphan card, 443. How much do I need? Madame? How much do I need? That's a great question. I need 1,000. I'm halfway there. At least we got Togepi last time. If we could somehow get like 600 more points, that'd be great. But we'll see. We'll try to get there at some point. I don't know. Um, okay, let's just do our best. Let's turn in Ghostface. Please tell me you're like worth 100 points. That'd be sick. Ghostface, 25 points, so we're like about 460-ish, like at the late 460-ish. I can't do math in, in the, at like 468, I think, right? I'll try to do some fake math in my head, like this is, this is quick math. You know, 2 plus 2 equals full quick math type of deal. Sock girl, how much is she worth? Lots, right? 23 points. You, you're you worth less than a level 10 Surskit. A level 40 Feebas. Dude, Pokemon really don't give a, a shit about Feebasses in this game. Like, I'm starting to feel a little offended here. Okay. Let's turn in, uh... Let's turn in Friend. I, I'm kind of tempted to turn in Friend last, but in the end, it doesn't matter. 70 points. Uh, okay, so 468 plus 23, I didn't even do the math there, it's like 471, 491. So with 491 plus 70, we got like, uh, five, uh, 541? Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm like half thinking and half not at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, like I'm half-assing my math skills right now. I think it's 541, I don't even know. This surely is worth something great, right? Thank you for your donation. 67. So we got like 600 points, right? Okay, well that's not all the Pokemon. Let's go do this again. And again, like, I'm doing this on screen. Like, I could easily do it off screen, but I don't want to explain what Pokemon I got rid of, because that's kind of messed up. Uh... I think that's all the Pokemon I'm turning in, to be honest. Well, never mind then. Okay. Well, uh, looks like that is all the Pokemon donations for today. I got 600 points. I need 400 more points to do what I need to. Did I? Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Uh, I, I grabbed the wrong Pokemon. Um, or did I? I don't even know. But, uh, there was something a few episodes ago where, uh... Where I took on the Battle Tower, and I think I'm gonna be doing that as well in this episode. Because the thing is, uh, something that I didn't mention, uh, before. Um, and I really should've. Like, at the time or whatever. But, like I said before, there is three uh, battle tower heads that, like, you could take on. And the thing is, um, they're all from a game in the past, kind of. Like, I guess it's still a current game. There's three of them, and they're all from Pokemon Go. And they're all from, like, their respective teams or whatever. Like, I never played Pokemon Go, but that's what I've seen so far. Um, 
and that's to me is very interesting because like there is something pertaining to that. For now, I'm gonna go to Flockstown just to check if I have anything in the bingo card or whatever. So you know, there is that. Um, but yeah, they're all from Pokemon Go, and uh, it's like something weird how specific you have to get it done to to activate them because they're all on different days. So hopefully, we'll face somebody today in particular. Um, but yeah, this is what I have so far in my, my spaces. I got my mining level, I got the battles one. I need a jewel, and I really don't remember how to. Got the ash and the soot, badges, secret regen item, thousands of dollars. Okay, that's good. Uh, golden tokens, all that, Pachisi wins, hell yeah, fossil revived, I haven't even got a fossil yet, and I don't remember where to get that from, but I got those done, I'm just checking to see if I could unlock anything else, smelting, I haven't done that yet, cancel starter owned, and uh, yeah, this is what I have so far, and I don't know if I talked to anyone, but I need to get the card done, like very very soon. And uh, it's gonna take me a while. I just need to do smelting. Smelting, and at some point, I need to get a high enough level to, to find a fossil, because there's, there's something very, very weird about the whole fossil situation. It says it's always in the, the same pattern, no matter what, or something like that. Um, oh, I never got this. I got a sunstone. Whoa. I didn't think there was a thing there. I, is there blossoms in this game or sun floors? I don't think there's oddish in this game or is there? Uh, I'm gonna turn in the sunstone for now. Only because I, I'm not really too sure. Okay. Am I able to mine the side over here? No, I'm not. Okay, let's let's go in here. I'm gonna mine just a little bit, just like the the rest of the thing, and then probably off screen. Like, not only am I gonna level up a little bit, but I'm also gonna um I'm also gonna work on smelting and all that stuff. And yeah, this is all the all the pickaxes. I used them all. I think I do I have more wait oh I used the iron pickaxe that's what happened 250 more steps dude I hate it when that pops up okay what what is my level anyway I'm at level 18 and all that stuff okay cool now let's go over to the battle tower i'm kind of forgetting where it is i think i have to go to facilia town and all that and then i'll go meet you guys over there um but yeah i'll probably be right back uh because the battle tower will take a little bit and i'll fight whoever declares uh battle with me i guess and they're gonna feel the wrath they're 100% gonna feel the wrath. Alright. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Alright, so I got some explaining to do. So basically with the battle tower, you already know that the one set equals seven battles. So with three more sets, basically on the 21st battle, I took on the Tower Tycoon Spark. Fast forward a little bit with four more sets in total of seven. On the 49th battle, we hopefully take on the Tower Tycoon. And uh, I say hopefully because there's three of them and I kept on facing Spark over and over again. Now the thing about Spark is, um, the first time I took him on, he fall under a Saturday. And with this video in particular, I purposely chose my time machine into a Tuesday to face a completely different Tower Tycoon. It was not the case. I kept on seeing sparks though. And uh, I don't know if it's coincidence or if it's bug, but I was always under the impression that he was only exclusively on Saturdays and Sundays. Like, I make him sound like a JCPenney employee or something. Like, oh yeah, dude, I only really work on weekends. Like, weekdays, nah. Saturdays and Sundays for me, bro. And like, I, I don't know, like, I tried to use the time machine and it didn't want to cooperate with me. Like, I wanted to test my theory and just didn't do anything. It, it doesn't work. Like, it kept on saying recharging and all that. And I'm all like, I don't know what that means. It's not like an iron pickaxe where you can walk around. It just didn't want to work with me at all. So I had to use the in-game clock to uh, roll over the hours and wait literally the next morning. So I had to get it from Tuesday to Wednesday pretty much. And even though it says 3.15 a.m. and it's not the middle of the night, it is the evening time, so don't you worry about that. But now that it's Wednesday, I do believe it should be able to work, so let's go do this thing. Welcome back. Before we resume, you, may, you must save the game. Please follow me. And from the continue uh, rest retired thing, like I clicked on rest for safe state purposes because if I was inside here, I couldn't actually like have any indication of time because I can't even pause. So that's why I have to go on the title screen so I could see the time and date. So for in order for me to get it to Tuesday to Wednesday, as easy as like just normally I guess. Congratulations on winning thus far. I just been informed that our Steam Tower Tycoon six an audience with you. Are you ready to accept their challenge? I mean there's rest, retire, and I don't know why you would pick retire, like that literally just ends your streak. Cause like <laughs> if you're asking me to quit, like what the hell? Like unless you have to take a shit, then I don't know, but let's just go get started with this thing. So you're the trainer who beat the odds and made it this far. My name is Candela. I am one of the three Tower Tycoons. Yes, I feel your power. Won't you show it to me? And yeah, her overhead sprite changes a lot. Like she could walk in and be all yellow or all green or all blue. So there's that. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be all pink, even though that you see her sprite right here with like a red shirt and jacket and all that and dark brown hair. Yeah, like, don't pay any attention to the overhead sprites, they're always different for every trainer in the Battle Tower, um, especially Spark. But speaking of Spark, though, like, uh, his team is fine, it's not bugged out, like, Charizard, Venus, or Blastoise is what his team's supposed to be, so long as you click on level 50. And that's something else I haven't mentioned yet. The level 50 and open level means that the Tower Tycoon trios have two different teams. Silver and gold. Silver with level 50, open level with gold, aka 100s or whatever. And they're all supposed to have two teams. I say supposed to because Candela and the last Tower Tycoon, they're kind of buggy. At least, I don't know if they are still buggy, but they used to be buggy. Because the way it used to work, like in this set of seven, she's opponent number seven. Opponent number six would have like, for example, something random like Graveler, Voltorb, and Jumpluff. Candela and the last Tycoon will look at that, get the exact same moveset and the exact same Pokemon, and just use it in their team. So Graveler, Voltorb, and Jumpluff. And that would be it. That's pretty much the bug. And there is raw data of what their team's supposed to be, uh, silver and gold, so there is that. And legitimately, I don't remember what my opponent's, like, my last opponent's Pokemon are, so I guess we'll find out together. I'm so glad Candle is... Here? Wait, what? Why is there Moltres? What the fuck is this croc shit? 
Bruh? What do I do against you? Wait! 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 Wait, time out. I'm so confused. I'm baffled. I'm, I'm doubly confused. Okay, hear me out. So, first off, I would remember a Mol Moltres on opponent number 6. He didn't have no Moltres. I didn't think any people had legendary Pokemon up until this point. Uh, I didn't see any. So, what the hell? Not only that, I know what her silver team is. She starts with the Torkoal. And this ain't her silver team. But that's where my other confusion lies. It's all like, I did see her gold team. And she does actually have a Moltres. But why the fuck is it here? Are you, are you lost, chicken? Like, you're not, you're not at the open level. You're at level 50s, mate. You see it on our screen. Two level 50s right there. Why are you here? What do I do? Let's go with Lava Pool. Fuck. This is bad. Oh my god. Uh. Shoot. Uh. I think I just have to switch it to Zeus. Because predicting the air slash... Maybe it's just coincidence, I guess. Like, maybe Spark really is a JCPenney employee. Who the fuck knows? Let's go with Wild Charge. I have to hit him hard. You could live a flamethrower. Come on, buddy. You could do it. Oh, shit. Come on, paralyze him or something. Oh. I don't think I could outspeed it. Fuck. That sucks. Well, okay, let's go to the Sakura. Maybe I could kill it with the Surf. Hopefully it's not two shots. Please don't flinch. Air Slash could flinch. Okay, good. Woo! Alright. Nice, I took it out. Oh, thank god. That would have been horrible. Earth Mover. The Venusaur. Um, yeah, that's another member of for Gold Team. Why is her Gold Team out? I don't understand. I gotta switch to Kanji. There's no way. There's no way. Spring Buds. Okay. Um. Okay, I hit that. There's someone playing music really loud outside. <laughs> I might give Mark for copyright. Fire Blast! Oh god, he does have Earthquake. Bruh, why? Fire Blast attack! <sighs> you would think with the Earth Mover he would have Earthquake. I mean, why wouldn't he, right? Nice! It took him out. It took him out. Thank God. Okay, with Lava Pool... Sandstream, why? Yeah, this is the complete gold team. I cannot believe... That... Er, why? How come? At least the burn got set off. Shit. Okay. Uh... I have no choice but to continue to surf. Like, the problem is the Sandstream. That boosts up the special defense. Like, this might be bad. I need a crit. That did pretty good damage. Dragon Dance. Oh, fuck. Uh... Yeah, let's go for a Surf. I'm, I was debating Icy winning, but it won't do enough damage. I need a lot of damage here. Please do it. Please do it. Oh! Come on! Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh my god, I finally did it! Oh my god, Towerhead Candela was defeated. 
Bruh. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are, alright? Don't even start with the question mark exclamation point. It seems I've underestimated you. Well done, trainer. Bruh. Congratulations. Congratulations for beating all seven trainers and for the amazing fight with our tycoon. We hereby award you these BP. That was hard. We hope to see you again. Whew. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, I think this is supposed to be Sparky, or Spark rather. And then this is supposed to be Candela. And this is the last uh, Tower Tycoon. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost sure that that's what they imply. I thought they were just random people. I'm almost certain it's them though. But yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like playing video games, you might, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we are going to take on a very special gym. And uh, I think I do need to do some training in. And there's some other stuff that I guess I could say that I did off screen while I was trying to figure out how to get the, like, you know, candela to appear. But I will explain it in the next episode because we're pretty up there on time. Not that that stopped me before, but I think this is a great point to stop on. We'll worry about it tomorrow or whatever episode. Maybe you're binge watching. You'll find out in five seconds. But either way, White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been Scarred by the Night. I'm out.